Final score, 1-0. Natalie, are you happy with the final result? I'm happy with the final result. It's what we needed. I thought we, it would be cagey like this. I didn't think it was going to be an easy like 3-0 game that people were suggesting. You know, we don't look ourselves. We look like we're, we're sort of aggressing, if anything. We look tired. Um, Zlatan, to me, he was awful. He just doesn't look interested. It was all about him. He wanted to make it his show. Instead of passing balls, he was trying to take shots. Uh, did he hit the post? I think he hit the post once. So it was... It was uh, that was good, I suppose, but it was just a tough game, and I think we need pace. So when we had Mkhitaryan running at them, we looked good. If we had Marshall there, if we had Rashford, it would have been probably different. But it was a tough game, but we got the result that we needed, and you know, in the draw. Yeah, do you think it was quite tough for us because uh, they, you know, for the pretty much like the. F all the first half and for a large part of the second half they kind of like sat back and it was every man in the box and it was really tough to kind of pick a pass out and just you know you know whoever puts like all the players in the box is going to be hard to, to you know to play against I no, I totally agree and but that's what I expected them to do and that's why I knew it was going to be yeah. tough um but you know with teams like that when they've got all the men in the box and you know everything when you go central the they surround you with like tennis men. You need wingers, you need people running at pace, f flying balls in across the, on the floor, across the bottom for someone. Like that's how we scored our goal. A ball across the, um, on the floor, and Matter was in at the far post, bang, 1-0. That's what we should have been doing. But I saw Blind, he had, he had a few chances, he was out on the wing, and instead of sliding it along the floor, he's putting it high in the air. They've got big tall players, they're always gonna head it away. And that's what it was like. Who, who would you like in the next round? Anywhere, me. I don't mind. I'll, I'll be there. Rome, Belgium. Rome, Rome got knocked out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Leon, Leon, Belgium, Turkey again. Yeah, Schalke, 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 Schalke yeah. Germany. Let's go. Yeah, you're on it. <laughs> That's the attitude it's we should be red. having. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Can, can, can we win it? Can we do the business? Yeah. Can, can we get to Stockholm? We should do. I think Leon are a dangerous team, and I think Schalke are a dangerous team. But everyone after that, we can we can beat. So hopefully, them two get each other. That's another one knocked out, and then maybe we get one of them in the semis, and then we get a well. No team's easy now, but you know we get an all right team in the final. But I'd rather have a Leon or a Schalke um, bring them back here than take them to a one-off game. How would you like assess United's chances of getting in the Champions League next season? You know, is that our best chance that through the Europa League winning it or through, you know, getting top four in the Premier League? What, what would you say was more realistic? I think winning this competition, because it's only three more games and you've won it. So we're putting, th well, three more rounds and, you, and you, you know, you've won it. Top four, I think it's still there. It just, we look, I think, I'm, I'm glad that we sort of got knocked out of the FA Cup now because that's one less thing to worry about. We can start it's congestion, doesn't yeah. it? We can start rearranging them games that we've got. But, and City are out of the Champions League, which we're all happy about, but then that'll maybe free up a week so we won't have it all tight at the end of the week, at the end of the, um, the season. But, we're not, you know, teams are going to always come to Old Trafford and part for two banks of four. We need to know how to break them down and yet again we've shown that we, can't, it's, we struggle to do it. So... If a Premier League, you know that Premier League teams are going to come and do that. We've just got to get the pace in now, get playing Marshall, get playing Rashford all the time. That's what I would do anyway. Right? Okay, cheers, Lally. Thanks a lot for your time. Guys, are you happy that United won tonight? Uh, brilliant. I, lo I love the performances today. Uh, again, we, we needed this result, uh, especially after the uh, Chelsea catastrophe. Uh, yeah, on onwards and upwards, isn't it? I think uh, we should have scored more than three or four goals tonight. It's Rostov at home, Old Trafford. We're playing attacking. I think we missed Martial on the left side. Second half, Phil Jones playing left back. There was nothing on the left side. Right side, Valencia is a beast. He always comes forward with the balls. I think Zlatan needs to be more fast. I know he's 35, and I'm not criticising Zlatan, but I think he can provide us with more goals, though. Do you think that we struggle quite a lot because they just kind of like sack back and just like you know just let let us come at them? See, to be completely honest, uh, you know, um, from 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 my interpretation, uh, I thought I thought we opened the team up quite well. I thought we created so many chances. To be com to be completely honest with you, but the thing is, like, what's costing us is our poor finishing again. I mean, Zlatan, the guy hit the post again. You know, how, how many times are we gonna do this? Like, I mean, the, I mean, I mean, he's I mean, he's, he's probably. I mean, I know the fact that he's the highest uh, goal scorer in England, but the thing is, he's probably uh, probably the least clinical as well. So you know, that's something he has to work on, but. You know, uh, we're, we're through to next uh, round, that's all that matters. And uh, again, we need to make this Europa our, our top priority. So, yeah, you know. Who, who were the standout players today for United? 
Eric Bailly at the back, Beast at the back, Valencia, um, Mata, obviously. He's always there to provide the goals. And I think that's it. Everyone else for average. I don't think they're tired or something after the Chelsea game. For me particularly, uh, Valencia and the one matter. I mean, I'm so disappointed that I didn't get that I didn't get the chance to start against Chelsea. But you know, what can you do about that? But yeah, Mata, uh, he he got the goal again, and not only that, his his link up play as well. He guy who's making chances, and he also scores goals as well. So yeah, one matter for me. Paul Pogba, yeah, he came off. Um, I think he he might be injured, or you know, he might just be falling in a sickie, so he doesn't have to pay for France. Uh, how did you you know rate his performance? Because there was so much said about him uh, midweek. I mean. Obviously, yeah. Obviously, I'm going to say what I see. I mean, I mean, the guy was quite average. I mean, he, I mean, didn't set the world delight. I mean, he hasn't done that for quite a few games. But you know, the guy's still young. You know, we need to give him time. Uh, you know, we need to let these, uh, you know, young, young guys flourish with the likes of Rashford. Yeah. No, I think we need to firstly buy a defensive midfielder, someone like Matuidi or Verratti who can win the ball back. And then Pogba got the freedom. He can go forward. He can do whatever he wants. That's the type of player he is. Right now, we're playing him centre mid. He's protecting the defence. All he does is play long passes to Valencia or anyone else. Rooney can do that. Herrera does that, anyone can do that, but I think Pogba is going to be more effective helping Zlatan, helping uh, Mkhitaryan and Mata up front. I want to see a defensive midfielder come in, because Carrick is 30 old, and I think we need a defensive midfielder for Pogba to shine next season. Yeah, uh, we had a slow start though. Uh, I think the formation is not the typical United formation, the way there's like three defenders at the back. So that kind of gave us like a slow start. So we were looking for like going 2 nil up by the time half nil. Uh, so half time we were looking to go like at least two nil up, but the fact that it was nil nil, it, it it was quite tight till the very end. And Mata's goal was quite amazing, and uh, he gave us the lead that we needed and the the goal that we needed to get through the next round. So yeah, pretty happy with the result and uh, overall great performance by the team. Who who would you like to play in the next round? Ah, uh, tough call, but. Till the semi-finals, I don't think we want to see anyone tough, right? Because uh, at the moment, things are going like up and down for us. And uh, we want to qualify for the Champions League, so we have to win this one. Knowing the Premier League, we're like finishing number six. Is, is, is this our best chance of winning the Champions League? Uh, sorry, is this our best chance of getting into the Champions League, should I say? <laughs> and then winning it next season? Uh, to be fair, it's... It's a tough call right now because uh, the way we we got quite a lot of tough matches coming up. We got Chelsea coming up, so it's going to be a tough time for United. But let's see if we can get through it and uh, let's see if we can finish top four in the league and maybe qualify for the Champions League, winning the Europa Cup and winning the Champions, qualifying for the Champions League. Yeah. What do you think of Mkhitaryan's performance tonight? Uh, it was good. It wasn't the best but like the, the guy's still he's still brilliant like I love him. <laughs> yeah. Are you happy that United are through to the next round of the UEFA yeah. Cup? Yeah yeah 100%, 100%. Can you not go is this our best chance of getting in the Champions League next season? Probably like let's be honest um, the league's not going too well it's not but can be hopeful just be hopeful that's all I say. Yeah, so Paul Pogba come off um, earlier on um, your thoughts on him today how did he play? <laughs> so I said uh, Paul Pogba came off earlier on today um, yeah, yeah. Um, to be fair, like he's just kicking the ball away that most of the time. Um, he does have a lot of pressure on him, but um, I'd say give him time. He's, he still needs to settle in. Um, I think it's just pressure that's getting to him. Uh, the media is just too harsh on him. That's it. Yeah. Okay. We've got Middlesbrough on Sunday. Uh, can we win that? Yeah, yeah. If, if we play... Better than what we did tonight. Like we should, we should be able to. Like typical, a, a typical United game should be able to beat them. That's all.